hi guys how are you doing my name is Yeri Ramondo welcome to my youtube channel if you're new here karibu sana this channel is about motherhood spiritual growth and entrepreneurship if you're coming again asante remember to like share and subscribe to my channel i hope you're excited like i am today because we're inviting one of my first entrepreneurs to my show guess who it is drum roll this is someone i've come to know from a very long time and uh, I actually happen to own two or three of her products and I genuinely love what she's doing and I know you will too by the end of this video. So without further ado, allow me to welcome the guest of today. My guest today wears many hats but I'll allow her to introduce herself. So Karibu Sana, thank you for honoring me and coming to my channel to support me. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate. So uh, tell us about yourself and all that you do. <sighs> All right. Hi, guys. Hi, everyone who's watching this channel. Grace, first of all, Aki, thank you so much. You have no idea. It's such an honor to be here. Okay. Let us believe me. I am so happy to be here. I always follow your channel, of course, because I'm your friend. <laughs> Thanks. And I'm happy to be here. Thank you for inviting me. My name is Irene Wanjiron Juguna, guys. I am an um, entrepreneur, Sana Sana. I do other things, Vile Grace Amisima. She wears many hats. Wow. <laughs> uh, it's because I do stuff, but majorly, and I'm, I'm an entrepreneur, but I also act. I sing in church. I'm a church girl. Hallelujah. Yeah, both of us are. Yeah. 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 Yeah, so that's me, and I'm a mother. I'm a mother. We should have a session with mothers. I know. Me goes out to your mother for that. Hey, lucky you, Grace, that you come to me for that. I come and stand. Me tell me about that. Hey, you tell me, gangster girl. So yeah. Anyway, so I'm a mother, and I'm and I'm happy to be here. So like I said, we go a long way with Irene, mm -hmm. and I'm so happy that she's here. Yeah. Anyway, so today we're talking about business. Yes. So my first question is mm -hmm. um. Uh, when did you start? Like, uh, tell us more about your business. Mm -hmm. Was it a vision? Was it uh, uh, something you thought about it? Yeah. Had you planned about it, yeah. or it just came from different experiences? Mm -hmm. So, tell, tell, talk to us about your journey in business. Okay. So, I want to assume the business we're talking about is uh, organics. What yes. I do now. So, what I'm doing currently is I am into natural and organics. What, what this means is I make natural and organic products that um, are very helpful to us as human beings. So, I do hair care, skin care, weight loss, and I've recently introduced supplements, which are very, very good for everyone. So, now that we're talking about the natural and organic products, how I started. So... I used to have madhunda ukuivi. Nivle sina saizi. My puberty was horrible. So ilikuwa ina ina nisumbua sana. I didn't have like my bimbos, my bimbos kwa uso yangu, but I had I, there are things I didn't like about my skin, mm -hmm. especially the tuzundo and my dark circles. I used to have serious dark circles. So that mm -hmm. was one of the reasons why I started making my own products because I couldn't find a product that would be able to help me. Okay. Yeah. And apart from that, I'm also a very creative person. So I knew I had to come up with something that would work. And also, many people would look at me, Sandy Kianza Kujitengi, these are products kwa nyumba, these are natural and kwa organics. Um, what do you mean? I'm going to skin. I'm going to What am I using? So it's like, yeah. mm -hmm. you're so offering how, solutions. Yes, yeah. yes. So that's why I started giving um, solutions to skincare by making uh, oils and water based products. Basically, mm -hmm. I started making soap as well. And yeah, I, so by the grace of God, I can openly say that God has really helped me to come up with ideas. You know what's funny? Mm -hmm. I'd always ask God to give me solutions. Kwanza yo ya pimples. Mm -hmm. Because most people have pimples, uh, rashes, acne, nini, nini. Mm -hmm. So I would also say, I want to acknowledge God in this yeah, whole very thing. Important. Wow. So to answer your question, yeah. how did I start and why? Mm -hmm. That's how I started. Mm -hmm. Why? Because I had a problem and I knew I could give a solution. Amazing, yeah. amazing. Uh, something else I wanted to ask you. Yeah. What did you need to start your business? In terms of mm -hmm. uh, finances, were you stable then? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In terms of physical, was it a business that you started in the house yeah. or you had to lease somewhere mm -hmm. or you did, you did it online? So talk to us about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, Tambo Kitambo, all the businesses I've ever done mm -hmm. have always been online. Like, until I started, 
uh, I decided to get a shop for Emporium Organics. Uh, it was always online. I'd sell uh, deras and yeah. Kara stuff. So, yeah. ilikuanga online. Okay. Until I discovered, ku get mango ni raisi. Kushona mango ni raisi. But then you see with these products, people want to come and see. And apart from that, I had to get a clinic. Clinic, like yeah. our shop. Where we get a client coming in and they're saying they want to see my face to believe that what is here yeah. is what is real because most celebrities what say my celeb but okay let me say brand influencers like me mm. and you as mm. well mm. most people see us kwa 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 camera yeah. kwa screen to yes. say me yeah. but real life kuna mtu msio uko guy kumbe unakaanga hivyo ama ni makeup say uko oh imachida so I had to get a shop. Yeah. So to answer your question, I started online and then I had to get a shop because I discovered mm -hmm. most people would be like, so where is your shop? Do you have a physical address? So yeah. So I feel it's also very important to have a physical address. Yeah. And I think for me, as Emporium Organics, that's why we started um, a Emporium Shelves on the Go. <clears throat> Because I understand most people don't have money to pay rent. Yeah. Like people who don't have a shop. What yes. wakona hizo vitu kwa nyumba. But on a shindu and because yes, you're selling online, and selling online is not easy, by the way. Because yes, you a lot of kuliza. So where can I get them? Una pigea sabu ya kutoka siju wa api hadi CBD. No no ziam two product two hundred bob. Na fea ni how much? No isim lipisha delivery. Yeah, supposed to be too high. Yeah. So that's how the shelves thing came in, and uh, for me, that's a re that's one of the main reasons why even after getting a shop, I knew there are people who are like me who who are now where I was. You have the products at home, but you don't have the yes. That's how Emporium Shelves on the Go started. So you have a product at home, you have a business, but you cannot afford to pay rent. And you bring them to us, we rent you the shelf. Yes. Yeah. Um, so I, I just wanted to say that it's very important for an entrepreneur to make yourself seen. Yeah. Let people come and feel your product. Yeah. Get, if you're selling earrings, yeah. Yeah, people want to see, yes, kuna picture, but anataka aone. Yeah, true, yeah. true. Yes. Yes. And I like the way you've said, uh, I think my next question was, uh, why did you decide to specialize on mm. Emporium Organic? And mm. I think you answered, you said, because you're trying to create a solution. Yes, yeah. that yeah. and give also... Us, yeah, give us more details on So that. your question is, why did you decide to go the organic yeah. way? Like you said, yeah. uh, you've done so many businesses. You've done yeah. terrors, you've done walls, curtains. curtains. Oh, <laughs> I yeah. remember she sold my... You remember you sold me terrors yeah. when I was expecting to yes. wear twins. Mm -hmm. And your uh, sister. And my sister. <laughs> yeah. I brought customers to you. I thank God for that. Yeah. And uh, so, okay, maybe give us more points as mm -hmm. to why you chose to specialize more okay. on for an organic solution. Yeah, yeah, okay. It's because number one, um, being a cancer, cancer the uh when it horoscopes too. so many cancer okay. and most cancers are very very creative mm. but for me apart from being creative i'm more of an earth person my favorite color mm. is brown you would know grace i want to use your bags zote are brown <laughs> maybe you're the one who made me discover that my favorite color is brown oh, wow. yeah until you mentioned it mm. what has gone on a draw wow. so anyway because i'm more of an earthly person mm. and i believe and this comes because of me being a christian okay i believe that every problem that we have God has given us a solution here. Come on, no tumbo. Okay, let me say I'm a herbalist. Me na believe come on, no mana tumbo. When it's a kulezi plant, it's a zipi no pone. Unajua. Come on, no mana macho. See, that's what our forefathers used to do. What we're telling was as we was as we was as we to. I walk on a ma. Eh, walk on a use herbs. Don't on a ma use totally. They would go to the forest. Wana chuna the back of some. Wana cut the back of a tree. Or they chuna a leaf. Then yoka sap in a toka. Uki paka kwa kidone na pana. So me, I believe the same thing. I believe that God indeed has given us solutions here on earth. Mm. Like if we want to shiba, he's given us fruits. If we want magi, there's water. If you want fruits, you just chomoki something and you eat. So for me, the reason I decided to do that is because number one, I'm more of an earthly person. Wow. Yes. And wow. I just want to no, give I solutions can. to people, working permanent solutions. Mm -hmm. I know we will never run out of trees, but we will run out of medicine. Yeah, very true. Look yeah. at now Corona. I mean, mm. people have to imagine yeah, second for the dose. second dose to come. You know, yeah. So wow, that's, yeah. that's so profound. Yes. Know? So uh, tell us uh, how long have you been in the business market? Okay. Mm. So um, 
I've been in business for a very long time. That's why I can say I'm a certified entrepreneur. But I have been doing Emporium consistently for two years. Wow. And allow me to say mm -hmm. that Emporium Organics is the first grace you know. It yes. is the first business that I have done consistently. It's in me was an Yeah. And that's normal guys. For any yeah. entrepreneur out there who's who has an idea, most people who are successful in business the first business you started with is not the business you're doing now. Yes, not only exactly. I started selling bags. Yeah. I'm not selling eh, bags yeah. eh. Okay. So Emporium has been running for two years. Wow. Yeah. That definitely then pops up the question. Hey! It's a Jakusho story. Watch any comment for a product in it here. Grow up. Not just to be a mother and you're in. Nilian and I'm doing one would she be? Yeah. So I, I knew I had to get a solution mm. for making hair grow longer, yes. for people losing weight, and for people having fair, beautiful full flawless skin mm. that's why people call me iron flawless skin or just yeah. flawless skin mm. so for the hair grower nilianza yeah. kutumia na chebi na mix na mix ma organics na tu na chuko siju moringa siju nini na zimix alafu nikipaka kwa nyole ya mtu ya unu na ina grow ni kati sedocha ni kwenye mafuta what is it nilianza kuza mafuta that's how people started buying emporium hair grower and emporium hair stimulator Okay. Yeah, okay. you want to say something? Yes, I wanted to ask you the next question. Uh, mm -hmm. With your experience, share with us uh, challenges that you faced. One, when you started the business, mm -hmm. what challenges would you share with someone, an mm -hmm. entrepreneur who wants to start mm -hmm. or who's actually on baby steps? Mm -hmm. uh, what challenges did you face and mm -hmm. how did you overcome the challenges? Okay, uh, challenges are business ni mingi sana mm -hmm. because number one, there is expectations. Okay. Um, things don't always work out the way you want them to work out in terms of you're giving a solution. Let me talk about skincare. Okay. So people have different skin types. So for you, Grace, maybe you have you don't have, but maybe you have acne, mm -hmm. and someone else has eczema. Mm -hmm. So because of using too many products, Utapata, for me, my biggest challenge is giving you a product, mm -hmm. and then for the first days, Jesus Kuzafao, before Nijue the the secret ingredient. Mm -hmm. Utapata mtu anatumia product mm -hmm. but then anajikimbiza so anashinda ah, kinikol mbona mwingine alitumia sabuni in two days nini, nini. people zikakauka zangu yeah. zikauki but then una kijipatia time unapata in a work yeah. so for me that was a huge challenge because mm -hmm. i really really want to give you a solution yeah. to your problem so the more the customer keeps telling me aki let's try something different i'm not giving up nini, nini. Mm -hmm. it's a challenge for me because now i have to start looking for other solutions so I would say it was discouraging for me when you would buy a product and yeah. then una feel high work it's for exactly, you. That's yeah. Una yes. you're not giving it time. Yes. Okay. So the fact that it's not working yes. was a challenge for okay. me. It's not okay. longer happening, of course, because growth is also very important. I have learned mm. uh, what to use, what not to use, mm. to learn different skin types. I'm always doing tutorials and listening to videos mm. on YouTube wow. and attending seminars about skincare and reading books as well. Mm. So for me, that was the first challenge. That's mm. one of the first challenges that I can easily mention on this forum. Another challenge is getting someone to work at the show. Okay. You see, you cannot split yourself into two. Like the show I'm doing now, mm -hmm. Selena. Yes. I've been doing it for the past four years. Okay. And I opened the shop, Nikki was Selena. Mm -hmm. Meaning, there's no way that we can shop and we shoot. Yes, you can. But now, what do you want to do Irene? What do you want to Irene to see? So, what do you want to do Anataka kuna Irene. So juu hauni Irene. Hata buy. Hata buy ama hata feel. Okay, mimi nakujeni siku Irene nataka. Na Irene nakujengi juu Irene nako job Monday through Saturday. Okay. So getting someone who is able to understand product. the products mm. like Sophie. Yes. Sophie is my assistant at the shop. Getting someone before Sophia came, I was like, because we have to know how to understand products. For me, the biggest challenge was getting someone who will represent Irene, yes. such that even you as a customer, when you come to the shop, even though you don't see Irene, yes, the lady at the shop will serves you so well. It can be measured yes. if if the customer found you. At yes, the shop. Give, wow. painting that picture of. Yes. The Irene you see is silly and if you are physically, that 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 could I would say that would be my mm. could have been my second cha challenge, mm. and then I think the last challenge was, could mm. you pressure na so many binadamo. 
Yeah. So, Nick, now we're not joining on a pressure to get pimples. As mm. in, I just see one zit on my face, and <laughs> it's it. such a big deal to me. Yeah. I forget that I'm a human being. I forget that it's normal to have breakouts. But because of the job that I do, yeah. I cannot afford to have breakouts. It's like you're selling weight loss products now when I'm normal. You have to give a solution. It's true. To you have to be the answer. To that solution you're giving people. Mm -hmm. If you're telling people about weight loss, let people see that journey. So for me, people buy our weight loss products because they've seen me being quite big yeah. now could reduce. So yeah, I sometimes I forget I'm a human being. Yeah. And that's a challenge I have to date. Mm -hmm. I'm always trying to get a solution where I can permanently get rid of pimples, mm -hmm. but that's not possible. However, it's working for me. Yeah, those are, I would say those are my uh, three Major. biggest challenges. Mm -hmm. And maybe the last one would be mm -hmm. carrying Emporium as my baby. Wow. By the way, no mm -hmm. one messes with Emporium. Yeah, so true. Ah, yeah, yeah. And I think that's how you should be. Like, yeah. if you have your baby, this is your baby, no one should come in between your yeah, baby. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So yeah, true. me, I'm, I'm, I'm really gangster. I'll be up on your face. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Try. Ask me. <laughs> I'll be here. <laughs> Emporium. Na vile ni mewaku kufanya hii brand kwa yeah, kubwa. But I think it's important to 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 protect your hustle. Yeah, you know, at the end true. of the day, when you know what yeah. it brings to yeah. the table yeah. and the sacrifices you've made, mm -hmm. I mean, any any person would be ready yeah. to protect their hustle. And it's a good totally thing because okay. yes, it's a good thing because now because of that, mm. by the time I am bringing a product to the shop, yes. I'm a hundred percent any entrepreneur out there by the time you're sending a product to someone you had better be sure mm, how true. is it try at just because kuna be sekwa try in a work for me i cure my products for more than six months by the time i'm, bring, I'm bringing anything to the shop mm. i have cured it for six months it's like baking by the time unoziam to keki uli taste unajoaina chumvi ni scary uku confused because a minute unapelekea watu kwa harusi Kiki kona chumvi, unaribu jina yako, yes, akio kiki ni mbae, nani ya limek, siju what baker is, why, wada <laughs> please. Yeah, you have to test, yeah. Amazing, amazing. Yeah. Okay. So I uh, I feel like uh it's so fulfilling to see people purchase your products mm -hmm. and actually get positive reviews, yeah. right? Yes. Uh so um so what is it about organic emporium? Mm -hmm. Emporium organic. You're sorry. welcome, Grace. <laughs> organic emporium <laughs> wanna, solution yes. that uh makes it so successful. Or was it what is it about Irene that mm -hmm. makes you so successful? Okay, yeah. so let me answer the first question. What makes Emporium Organic successful or what makes it stand out? Yeah. I think what makes Emporium Organic stand out is the fact that, number one, we are indeed natural and organic. And when I say our products are natural and organic, what that means is we majorly deal with products that we extract from the leaves, from the stem, or from the roots of a plant. Mm -hmm. So if it's the weight loss products, it's a blend of herbs and spices, it's a blend of seeds and spices. Not any naturals in Atoka Kwamiti. When I talk about our oils, let's say black seed oil, like in a hohoba oil, our new Emporium Luminescence for oily skin, for dry skin, it's, we have gotten it from the, it's a sap of the tree. For example, okay. if it's black seed oil, we literally cold press the black seed, mm -hmm. the black seeds to get black seed oil. We cold press it. So for me, I think what really makes us stand out is the fact that we are indeed natural and organic. And you see, when you go natural and organic, it's easier for you to give solutions because it is close to the skin. How to gender kwa lab You know, kwa Number one, hengeni vizuri na milietu. Yes. So I would say the reason, the, one of the things that make Emporium Organic stand out is the fact that we are indeed natural and organic and the fact that just by our name, Emporium Organic Solutions, indeed we are giving organic solutions. Wow. Yeah. What has made you so successful? What has made me so successful as Irene, for me, I would say is God. Yeah. Hallelujah. I am nothing without God, Grace. Mm. What? If God took away his presence out of my life for a second, maze mm. grace ni ta collapse. Yeah. I can't. Because God has given me consistency. God has given me favor. There are so many people out here. Yeah. There are so many people out here yeah. who are selling stuff, products. Mm. People are selling stuff. Mm. But 
utapata watu wengi with they always come to me mm. and it has nothing to do with me yani god am in favor grace me for me what makes Irene Wanjiru Njuguna stand out in acting and entrepreneurship and being a mother and everything that i do god like god is so jealous with me Oh, me wezi migusa. Yani yeah, God ananyekanga hapa. Yeah. And that is why I try my best to represent God. Amen. I want I don't want to be, I remember sharing this with you the other day. Mm. I don't want to be known as Maggie Selina. I don't want to be known as an entertainer. I want to be known as that chick who is born again. Like so for your faith. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And me I'm nothing. Oh, guy. Me God akiniambia Opera Morganics inafanya ukwe na kichwa. Nimesarenda. Bwana Yesu nasema ni sawa. Nimekubali. Let your will be done in my life. I am not to answer yeah. your question, Grace. So it's God entirely. It is God. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Clearly. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Well, 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 oh, right. the of the world. <laughs> yeah, he is. I'm so excited that uh, God comes first. Yes, like, he does. He, yeah, he's oh. uh, first uh, in your business, in, mm. in everything. Mm. Like, he's God. Yeah. And um, I'm happy to hear that. So, Irene, mm -hmm. tell us, what are your highlights as an entrepreneur? Well, my highlights as an entrepreneur, I'd say it makes me feel good when I see uh, people posting our products, maybe in talk share by product, and I pick a picture and I say, starting my program journey. Oh. Or uh, um, when people give us positive reviews, when they post us to say that they're happy with our products, before, for me, Grace, before and after. Yeah. Hey, nyawe ra, nyawe ra, before and after <laughs> pictures. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Oh. For me, it's the before and after pictures. That just kills me. It's a good thing. Yeah. When people actually have before and after pictures that says, they used to have my bimbles, my rashes, dark spots, dark circles, um, uh, skin that is not matching. You know, when, maybe when your face doesn't match your neck and your neck doesn't match your nini nini, they have before and after pictures. Mm. That really um, <clears throat> makes me feel proud. Wow. Yeah. Talk yeah. about uh, what of the journey in terms mm. of growth. Oh, have you grown? Have you seen growth? Yeah, um, yeah. As I mentioned in the beginning of this um, conversation, Nilian yeah. Zanikiwa home. Okay. I didn't have a shop, I didn't have a shelf. Mm. So when I realized that many people want to see the products, yeah. I thought, okay, because I cannot, I'm not in a position, okay, then I wasn't in a position to rent out a shop. Yes. I realized there are people who have uh, shelves, they're renting out shelves. So I was on a shelf, then I was on a shelf, I think for two, three months, I was on Ita kwa tricks. Ni ukona kazi wa mazi. Lakini raha baki. Thank you so much for giving me an opportunity. But ni ukona feel sipumui. Just products ni mob. No wezi wezi kwa wezi kwa kwa storage. So ni katoka online. Ni kena kwa shelf. Ni katoka kwa shelf. Ni kena kwa shop yetu. Ah, tu kaka kwa yoy shop. I think six months. Then God akato say that we moved to a bigger shop where we are right now. Wow. Yeah. So I have seen growth. Yes, there's growth in terms of space. Yes. There's also growth in terms of products. When we started as doing oils ah, so nice. slowly ni kaza kufanya soap kidogo ni maza kufanya water based kidogo ni kaza kufanya masks i've recently introduced supplements i've introduced weight loss products i mean yeah wow. growth is very important amazing the last thing you want to do is to do the same thing over a period of three months and, do, and not see and growth. not growth yeah and yeah. not see growth you're yeah. right yeah okay mm -hmm. so even as we conclude um oh no <laughs> you know, we should have been enjoy yeah, no. to conclude, but i'm yeah. thinking um there's someone probably outside there who wants to venture into a business mm -hmm. uh, we're talking about someone from campo yeah. someone who's actually working yeah. a stay-at-home mom mm -hmm. who's probably uh thinking of they want to do this biashara they have a vision they have an idea but they do not know where to start so what tips would you have uh, for such people mm. yeah for anyone out there who's looking to start a business or is already running a business maybe ako mwanzo katikati ama mifika ile place una plateau there's a plateau stage where una feel kama how grow um let me address the people who have an idea mm -hmm. whatever idea it is that you have run with it i believe that all of us are just an idea are we we're literally an idea are we for me it was just an idea of giving people solutions that helped me to grow as an individual and grow as an entrepreneur and grow my business as well to a point where i'm able to employ people that is such a huge deal for me so i would say if you have an idea run with it and also don't share me recently discover the minute you start sharing with your ideas with people, there are people who don't get it. It's like 
you start dating someone mm -hmm. and then someone says something mm -hmm. and then maybe you like them but then that's a that's the beginning stage of your relationship kumbo le judge kumbo le sempo na ni get yeah ni kama watu ambao ki get ball usiambiane see at which crafts do nini usiambiane kwa sababu let's first nurture this thing so your idea like when i first opened the shop i didn't tell my mom even oh, when I wow. moved to what to where we are now, I didn't tell my mom because of course my mom would be like, Akishiro, that's a different shop, it are quite too expensive. Mm. But then now she gets it. No, okay. Yeah. Okay. But my parents have always been very supportive. And that also brings me to another point. Get people who are supportive. Yes. Yeah. Support like your friends, mm. your family, yeah, your spouse, mm. your children. Yeah. Yeah. True, true. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Um, I think I'd also say if you know you plan to do it, mm -hmm. do it. Have a vision. Mm -hmm. Have a three-month vision, six-month vision, one-year vision. Do you think that even after two years, this is the same thing you're going to do? That's how you know your passion. A hustle is not a passion. For me, hustle yangu ni kuza to vito. Like this, this is a hustle. I sell these things. I don't make them, I just ship them in. That's a hustle. Yeah. But Emporium is a passion for me. A father ni nikose kulala, nikitengeneza face cream, night face cream. It's true. Yeah. yeah. So that's the difference between passion and, and exactly, a hustle. Yeah. Hustle ni mani teke teke. Unajuni itakuzia, utabai, sijuni ni nini. Mm. But then, organics, I want to see solutions. I want to see a problem. This is not solving a problem. Mm. Yeah, for beauty, yeah. for, yeah. you know, yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, I think I get you because uh, when it comes to entrepreneurship, it has to come from a place of passion. That's you true. love what you're doing. Yeah. Uh, amazing, amazing. Yeah. And so, uh, you didn't say to talk about someone who is in the business. Uh, mm. So, what did you tell them? If you're in the business and unafilu koyo plateau stage, that happens to all of us. It has happened to me so many times. Mm. The thing is to never give up. Oi, kanuke, kesi badai, my friends. Am I allowed to speak in Sheng? <laughs> Nyawena does not know how to speak. I'll, I'll... Ah, I know. Subscription. Okay. Subscription. Okay. So. Um, Subscription. Subscription. Subtitle. 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 I don't tell me you the subscription. I think I'm going to be able to subscribe to her channel. Anyway. Subtitle. For all of what I was doing, Shane, Grace at our care subtitles. So for someone who's already in the business, na I feel her grow her song, Kamu una iwacha, ni hustle. Kamu una kimbiza na nayo, ni passion. So mimi ni me feel even about Emporium so many times. But nili feel even about kuza mangua online. And that's why nili acha kuziuza madera na manini. Because nili ona, I was saying ona ni copy. But Emporium Organic, so many people are trying to copy us and we're still there. You see, the secret is to always be a step ahead. Wow. Yeah. True to my words, I told you guys would enjoy the video. Thank you, Irene, for coming to the channel. Thank you for having me, Chris. It's an honor and a pleasure. Karibu. Mm. Like they say, champions are not the ones who do not fall, but the ones who fall and they rise up. So uh, believe in yourself. You mm. can do it. You've had Irene's journey. Uh, and uh, I'm actually there. She's been a mentor and she's been walking me through uh, my business. Like I said, I sell honey. And um, I mean, it's a journey. Uh, anyone can start doing whatever you want and whatever you like. You have to have a vision. It has to be a passion of what you like. And I'm sure you'd have, you will definitely have a story to tell. So rise up and don't tolerate failure or mishaps. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you've learned uh, two or three nuggets about entrepreneurship. And uh, so till we meet again, it's adios. adios.